this episode of Who Cares by the Day? Fuck me. <laughs> heavy heavy non-lifter. I've been here since 4 I got here at what? You haven't lifted one week. I lifted weight at 5 o'clock in the morning. Six weeks, right? Yeah. Jay, what do you think? Six weeks? No comment. He's gonna go there with you. You're gonna fucking embarrass him. You I just say in the next out, four buddy. weeks, burn all that fat off. Do whatever you can. Yeah. And then we'll fill out. Don't worry about it. Just you burn all the fat off. It's game over. Yeah. You know why? From here on in, you're gonna be referred to as Lord Vader. You got that, Brad? Lord Vader. I wanna hear it. He's Lord Ash Potato. That's what he is. Because that's what he looks like. Jealous. I'd like to thank PDS Supplements for the nice package they sent. A lot of good stuff I'm going to need for the contest. Thank you, gentlemen. When they sent you some Benoit balls? What do I need Benoit balls when I got your tongue? <laughs> We got fucking Pinocchio and Chepetto. He's a fucking liar. <laughs> He's a puppet. I wanna, I wanna be a real bodybuilder. You're a sheep, let's sheep ass. ass. Yeah, ass, 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 ass. Hey, uh, is Brad really that much of a prick? Yes. He wanted to know. <laughs> yes, fuck you, PDS. What's the, what's the company name? PDS, PDM, <laughs> actually. Then they have a great branch chain amino product, which I needed, by the way, with my coach, a human performance specialist, the Motor City Madman. Don't you and like Jay pushing. are uh, color coordinated today. Did you guys work this out last night? We worked a little something out better out last night, but that's for another time. <laughs> Sick fuck. Was Rich here today? Yes, he was. The Terminator. These are the words out of Big Richard's mouth. This is a direct quote. I have a bone to pick with Brad. Tell him I can't wait to see him. Brad needs but, to pick, pick, pick the sperms out of his mouth. They're, they're since he called me out, I'll come here earlier. I promise. The Jay Master is puke bucket. No, Jay has a better name for the it. Bedroom bully bucket. Any body fluids can be deposited in that trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny will drink the bucket at the end of the trash. That is session. a great idea. We're gonna let that bucket collect bodily fluids for a month, Leonard, and you can drink it on stage at the Ruby Classic. <laughs> I'll drink it out of a champagne cup for a victory toast. Me and Genova. Uh-oh. The bedroom bully bucket. That's not your toilet like it is in your trailer. A mailman just accused me of living in a trailer. <laughs> Does anyone else find that ironic? <laughs> Pretty soon that's one you mailman that'll be living in God knows where. You I'll show you where I live. Well, manners? <laughs> Him calling me gay, that's great. <laughs> Hold on, why don't you educate all the non-Floridian yeah. residents what Wilton Manors is, Lenny? It's the uh, gay district in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> no more Frisco or New York. It's Wilton Manors, Fort Lauderdale. People like Brad put it on the map. <laughs> but he's the one talking about fucking tranny. No, they're not gay, there's a difference. There's Come nothing on. wrong with I mean, having some old man buy you a few drinks and suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> or a young postman suck your cock. You wish. All right, we're going to go with some more viewer feedback. So here's one from YouTube written by T. Or is it Jeff T? Jeff T5, I think it is. What the hell is a Jeff T5? You better use a, your correct name when you address me. Oh, punk. Thank you, Lenny. He's puking after his warm-up set. Jesus Christ. Break it in the bedroom bully bucket. <laughs> Have you ever puked during sex? All right, you ready? <laughs> Someone should tell Lenny he could take a good to six to eight inches off his gut. Please, Andrew, tell Lenny to start working on stretching your anus. And I guarantee you, he will look ten times better. Leonard, your response. The muscles thick already. Why work them? You know, work is gonna hypertrophy. I mean, but I will start doing some leg raises and lower ab work in a, in a few weeks. Hey, I'm the Tom Platts of abs. Why in the hell would I want to shrink my abs? I'm number one on Palumbo's and it should start be called Lennyism. My gut's twice as big as Palumbo's. I'll take a tape measure to it. Although he's a lot more attractive than the eye makeup he wears. The real Christina whoa, Broccolini. Whoa. You're as dumb as fucking Jason. Well, you got trolled. Catfish is a little different. Lenny nods his head in agreement. She's a goddess. She's not a god. How's that? I've never heard of her. Whoa. He sat wrong. here all day Saturday waiting for I a make-believe goddess. Of course. I do it again. They're gonna be 20 new Christina Broccolini accounts oh, on YouTube. My, if she has yeah, heard of him, she has a restraining order. I got news for you. Christina Broccolini's a fucking nobody. She's what? a C-lister. Uh -oh. At Jay. best. Ding, 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 ding. That's irrelevant. Like I said, our souls have been intertwined since the beginning of eternity till the end. What so would you do her if she actually showed up and you I'd met probably her? start crying. Crying? <laughs> I probably would, and that doesn't happen often. If you cry, we can add the tears to the uh, bed and bully bucket. <laughs> Wonder if we should keep that from week to week to week. Everything that comes out. Send your bodily fluids to World Gym in Delray Beach. <laughs> would anybody like to see proper form in a bent over barbell row? I will I demonstrate, demonstrate full range of motion. This nonsense where people bend over to 45 degree angle and barely move the bar. Just because that work for Dorian Yates doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You're not Dorian Yates. Start exercising the proper way. Look at that. Hey, Dale, you see that back? It didn't move. And it was a 45 degree angle. Hey, Dale, hey. I'm going to force you to keep your back flat he, when he I wasn't... sodomize you. You see that clown Dale that sent that video? He's like this. 
He's not he's not letting go of the Dale thing. He wasn't making fun of anyone. He simply posted a video. Pathetic. Andrew showed the video to Lenny. Lenny mocked it. It was a joke. This Dale is bucking the weight up. His face is so red. But like I said, I come down here, Dale. You're gonna keep that back in place because I'm gonna hold it there if you know what I mean. When I mount you. See if I can't get a few reps here with 365 on the bent over barbell row. Any words of encouragement, Leonard? Hold on one. Barbell rows should touch the floor, people. Quit doing them like Dorian Yates. I'll say it again. You're not Dorian Yates. Lenny, what were you just saying off camera? I was just saying I enjoy burying my head into a nice feminine armpit. Jay's the only one with enough balls to give it to me. He was saying this off camera. This is who Lenny is, folks. And then we got this one. I found that the more you shower, the quicker your armpit will stink. If you skip a day of showering, you don't smell twice as bad. You smell better. Does that make sense? <laughs> when you shower every day, more of your stench will radiate. Does that make sense? I think Lord Vader's showering what? two or three times a day is kind of productive. What? What? I think that women don't mind a little armpit odor on a man. Women or your girlfriend? I have this theory. I think that the submissive nature was bred into the human female during evolution because women that re resisted male dominance would often become injured or even killed and those rebellious genes were not passed down. Tweet that to Megyn Kelly before she decides to interview an alpha male make a fool of herself and end her career. If you grab Lord Vader by the hair and she resists, her genes should have been sodomized generations ago. That's a good point. And then like I said, we're going to return to that. Mad Max. Survival of the fittest. Mr. Vegan Gaines, I'm waiting for your reply. Fuck off! What is your beef with Canada? You Actually, I'm getting sick and tired of the Canadian sewer pipe leaking their sewage south onto this country. We have enough of our problems without their blend of filth up there, with the obvious exception of Christina Broccolini, who? Tony Mandarich and the late, great, great Kovacs. Mr. My, Vegan Gains? My fecal matter. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the body needs cholesterol to make testosterone. I'd like to help you out with a little hormonal transfer therapy. I want you to come down here and be my fluffer and clean up my cream pies. <laughs> Mr. Vegan Gains, cream pie cleanup guy. I get a warm, tingly feeling inside like I'm being loved. Vegetarianism is the new gateway drug to homosexuality. The Vegan Gains is living proof. I'm getting a vasectomy. A young man like that, you're the type of guy that we went to school with and would go run to the teacher and tell. Or somebody harass you, run to the police. You didn't do that back in our day, now it's encouraged. Go tell a teacher when you're being bullied. He might need some rectal animal fat injection. <laughs> I could use some baby seal oil and violate him with it. <laughs> That's what you get for opening your silly little mouth, Mr. Vegan Gaines. I hate people. Nice and long. <laughs> Trying to train to help Big Lenny out. Christina! Six weeks out, and all the guy wants to do is chit chat. Really? <laughs> He's got time to bullshit. <laughs> he should be doing a set. Sometimes we need a little tough love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And after all these years, you gotta go back to fundamentals. What can I say? Transforming.